Doctor. Oh. He didn't say what about, though. Anyway, I'm just a man. Yo. Hmm? You get called in too? Yep. Just walked in. Is Hoshino-kun not back yet? Not yet, no. Is something the matter? No, not really. Over here, Yagami. Something you wanted to discuss, Genda-sensei? No, not me. Him. Prosecutor Izumira. They've got men monitoring every nook and cranny of your agency. Figured it'd be safer to talk here. More bad news? Is that how you treat a guest? And no, it's good news. Guess it can't be all bad. Ichinose will testify at the trial. So, you convinced him, huh? Run into any trouble? No. It went fairly smoothly. So, you want me to explain 89? Yes, at the upcoming trial. And by that you mean the one for the murdered lawyer? That's right. Before his death, that lawyer made a phone call to Dr. Shono. Of course, we have no reason to believe that call had anything to do with the killing. Dr. Shono in 89? Involved in a murder? It's quite far-fetched, if you ask me. A preposterous notion. <laughs> Indeed. However, that doesn't change the fact that the call was made. And so we'll need to explain in court just why it can't be related. Hmm. Ah. And don't worry. You won't need to say a word about the call itself. Just explain the situation. 89 is a drug of global importance and Dr. Shono and his team have put immense effort into its development. Once you've explained, I'm sure it'll clear the air. Yes, I see. I'm not sure I can portray it accurately, though. I'm not a scientist, after all. If you would be more comfortable, we could always call Dr. Shono to the stand. But his language may in fact be too complicated. I'm not sure our jurors would understand. If possible, I'd prefer it were you up there, Ichinose-san. You have a point. It would be foolish to take up Dr. Shono's time with such an insignificant matter. Very well, I'll do it. Contact the Ministry of Health when the trial date is decided. Thank you very much, sir. If you'll excuse me, I have another meeting to get to. Nice going. You made it sound like if Ichinose didn't testify, Shono would. It worked. Ichinose didn't want to risk Shono getting in there and slipping up. Can't trust anyone to do it but himself. Good work, Izumira. Turns out you can be pretty devious when you want to be. Devious? Really? I'm kidding. Really, I can't thank you enough. We'll have Ichinose out in the open thanks to you. All we have to do now is find a way to corner him. What about Hamura from the Matsugane family? Can we ask him to testify? Mm, he's still on the run. 
I couldn't even be bothered to come to his patriarch's funeral. Of course not. How could he after what he did? Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we just grab Kuroiwa and get him to confess to being the mole? You do remember the beating he gave you last time, right? I let my guard down, that's all. Cut it out, you two. Come on, guys. We've got Ichinose right where we want him. We just need to figure out what to do next. You're not gonna win empty-handed, you know. It's Mafuyu. What's up? Ayabe's casino is getting raided by the police. Lamont? Now? Yeah. They just started. Morita is setting the wheels in motion. They've already arrested most of the employees. I get it. It's a character assassination. A crooked cop running an illegal casino. No surprise if he commits a murder, too. The chief prosecutor is hitting us where it hurts. Right. Just wanted to give you a heads up. So, how's it looking, Yagami-kun? Do you think you can win? I'll do the best I can. The good news is, I have a lot of help. Thanks for the call, Mafuyu. Of course. See ya. Morita's here in Kamurocho, blowing the lid off Ayabe's casino. In that case, I'd better get going. He's not gonna come here. Well, better safe than sorry. Huh. If they're raiding the casino, Kuroi was probably there too. What do you want to do, Tuck? The chief prosecutor's made his move. Probably wouldn't hurt to stop by and say hello. We know all about him now. You sure this is a good idea? He's not the kind of guy you mess around with. Don't worry. We just want to check in. Let's hit it. I'm Ayabe's lawyer. Let me through. Sorry, no lawyers allowed yet. Well done, but let him pass. I'll vouch for him personally. Chief Prosecutor? Thanks. Were you aware there was an underground casino hidden down here, Yagami-san? Wow, I had no idea. <laughs> Our friend Ayabe was really something, wasn't he? Who would have thought he'd take bribes from an illicit underground casino? Not to mention selling confidential police intel to the criminal underbelly of this town. Shintane-sensei surely stumbled upon Ayabe's secret. And so Ayabe killed him to make sure the truth stayed hidden. Quickly, with a police-issued handgun. I see. That's the story the prosecution is telling, huh? We can speak further once we get inside. I've learned a lot about you, Chief Prosecutor. About the tragedy in your family ten years ago. Then someone has betrayed me? Someone you betrayed. Someone who trusted you for years. 
I have to say, it was strange seeing how you behaved in Shono's lab. A public prosecutor, the so-called Defenders of Justice, chose to protect 89 over the sanctity of the law. I think it's time you drop the act. My mother, she was afflicted with early onset Alzheimer's. The disease progressed quickly. Not long after she started showing symptoms, she couldn't even recognize my face. Whenever I went to visit her, I was greeted with, nice to meet you, as if she didn't know who I was. Occasionally she'd yell at me, accuse me of being a thief or a murderer. Watching my mother's mind deteriorate, well, it nearly broke me. And yet my brother continued caring for her. He was there when I couldn't be, all by himself. When we were young, he and I had both dreamt of becoming lawyers. He devoted himself to his studies, far better than I ever did. Practically worked himself to the bone. Yet, ultimately, he never managed to pass the bar. I can only imagine how he felt when I passed on my first attempt. And yet, he was happy for me, almost as if my success was his. He was truly a good man. Please, go on. When we learned that my mother had Alzheimer's, my brother was devastated by the news. He took it hard. I, on the other hand, was filled with internal conflict. I was torn between caring for my ailing mother and continuing my burgeoning career as a lawyer. But my brother could sense how I felt. And then he said to me, Don't worry. Leave mom to me. Your success is all that matters. As long as you make it, my dream comes true too. And so, he continued caring for our mother for seven long years. 24 hours a day, a woman who couldn't even recognize him as her own son. Whereas I ran further and further away. But somewhere, deep down in my heart, I knew it couldn't continue that way. That someday he would break. And the regret you feel, that failure, is what led you to 89. When was it? After Shintani sends his murder. Not long after, Vice Minister Ichinose summoned me personally to fill me in on the details. He did? But why? Ichinose-san predicted that the prosecutor's office would discover the dark truth about 89 before long. And upon looking into some family histories, he discovered what happened to my mother. When he realized the extent of it, he knew I would be sympathetic to their cause. His proposal was quite clear. 89 was a groundbreaking new drug, meant to save countless suffering patients and families. But if it was to see the light of day, I would have to look the other way for a while. Prosecutor Morita, have you heard this saying before? Hmm? Fire tempers iron, and temptation steals the just. If someone told you they knew how to make mankind immortal at the sacrifice of a few, you would have looked the other way no matter how many people had to die. I do feel guilt. I can't deny that. That's the only reason I'm still here. Shono has killed people to cover this up. Emi Terasawa died for it. What about her? Did she deserve that? Meanwhile, Shinpei Okuba was falsely convicted and sentenced to death. He wakes up every day not knowing if it's his last. What did he do to deserve that? Your guilt is nothing more than an act. 
Do you even realize what it is you're doing? That's enough. How do you think your brother would feel if he saw what you were doing now? Huh? Tell me, Morita! Shut up! Just... Shut up! If you want me to shut up, you're gonna have to kill me. Morita, Okubo Kun and Ayabe are depending on me. Emi Terasawa deserves justice, too. And I'm not stopping until I get it! Hey, Tak. Kuroi was here. I believe that's enough. Morita-san? Long time no see. Seems you're already back in action. <laughs> Guess I went too easy. You little... So, another two versus one fight? Is Yagami joining us? What are you doing here? I suggest you turn a blind eye to this. You're good at that. Aren't you? Kaito-san! Think you could stay out of this? Like hell I will! You already had your turn. Kuroiwa killed Matsugane-san. And well, it's about time I pay him back for what he did. <laughs> Touching words, Yagami-san. But now is the time for action. And don't worry. I won't arrest you for obstruction on this. Don't talk to me about arrests. You're not even a cop. You're a goddamn assassin!
fucking kill you. Calm down. How would you even cover this up? There are limits to how much protection I can offer you. You have no reason to be here. Kaito san, let's go. You guys are Matsugane family, aren't they? <laughs> Damn right. They're probably worried about you or something. Afraid the 89 boys would come try to erase you, you know? What? Hey! There he is! Come on. We're out of here. Hoshino-kun. Yagami-san. When I heard you were here with Morita and Kuroiwa, I, um... I get it. You're the one who called Higashi over, aren't you? That's right. If I hadn't, who knows what dirty tricks they would have used. I couldn't take that risk. <laughs> I appreciate that, Hoshino. And... and... I'm really sorry for what happened in Kido's office. I was out of line. You deserve trust. And I didn't give it. Yagami-san, I messed up. What I did was unacceptable. Threatening a witness is just... It's not how I want to go about winning this case, Yagami-san. Got one thing to say, Hoshino. What? Iron burns temptation, while the just are often tested by fire. Huh? that he's got a black raincoat who are you
Tori wrote this, huh? Yep. Said he tried to get it out just in time for today's trial. Illegal human experiments discovered in Kamarucho. Dementia drug AD9, the focus. These pictures... I took him when we broke into Shono's lab. <laughs> nice work. Guess it's almost time. Time. Give him hell in there. I will. Matsugani-san deserves justice. Are they gonna set Okubo free if you win this trial? It's not guaranteed. But if not today, I'll make it happen eventually. Even if it costs me my life. Don't think I'm ever gonna get used to seeing you in a suit. <laughs> That's all you have to say to me? This is kind of a big deal, remember? Good luck today, Yagami-san. I'll be taking notes. I don't know. This trial might not be the most textbook case. <laughs> That's exactly why it'll be an educational experience. Defendant, please state your name and date of birth for the record. Kazuya Ayabe. Born on July 2nd, 1983. And where are you currently residing? This is the first trial for the murder of Masamichi Shintani. Defendant, a crooked cop by the name of Kazuya Ayabe. The bullet found in Shintani's body bore the rifling marks from Ayabe's gun. That's the most significant piece of evidence they have against him. But that was all a cover-up perpetrated by the mole, Kuroiwa. Ayabe is innocent. In other words, this trial is little more than a farce. At least, until this very moment. The prosecution moves to call a witness to the stand. Someone who can deny this case's link to the ADDC. The Vice Minister of the Ministry of Health, Kaoru Ichinose. The ADDC bears most of the responsibilities carried out by the Medical Institute. Most notably, the development of AD9, which was announced to the world last year. Director Kido has done a fine job overseeing its evolution into a matter of national import. Can you tell the court what exactly AD9 is? It's a revolutionary drug meant to be a complete cure for Alzheimer's disease. Given how pressing the drastic increase in dementia patients is, we've placed great faith and hope into AD9. Thank you. I have no further questions. Members of the jury, despite the defense's claims that the ADDC is somehow related to this case, 
The prosecution holds that it is an absurdity to link such a reputable institution to the horrible murder that took place not long ago. That is all. You may begin the cross-examination, counsel. You're the vice minister of the Ministry of Health, correct? Pretty high rank. That is what the title implies, yes. You must have really stood out to attain that position. Maybe you did something extra special that got you noticed? I'm not sure how this is relevant to the case at hand. Oh, come now. Why not indulge him? What? Think back to 2002, the year the Medical Institute was founded. I hear you spearheaded that whole operation. As a result, many new organizations came into being, the ADDC included. Naturally, many Ministry of Health officials welcomed this move because... You gave the Ministry more presence in the public mindshare. It's no wonder they thought highly of you, Ichinose-san. Hmm, you have a point there, but... What are you getting at? Huh? Um, this is no time to be stroking his... <clears throat> However, in the months and years after its founding, and with the country in a recession, they the vast amounts of... Before long, Closing the Institute outright didn't seem out of the question. Plans were even set in motion to redevelop the land once it was gone. Rumor had it that Minister Kasumi had actually approved those plans internally. Hmm. Are all your arguments going to be based on hearsay? Speaking of hearsay, Kamurocho has been buzzing with talk of this murderer who gouges people's eyes out. That killer is an assassin I've termed the Mole. But the truth of it is, those murders are the result of human experiments for 89, carried out in a secret lab in the heart of the city. This is all purely gossip. Members of the jury, 89's development is about to enter the clinical trial phase. However, ADDC researchers have already carried out clinical trials behind closed doors. Several people have died as a result. What? Of course, they tried to keep that a secret, but it eventually found its way out. And I have the evidence to prove it. Consider the research paper on 89, the dream drug said to be a cure for dementia. Dr. Kido of the ADDC presented these findings to the world. As for how that connects to Shintani Sensei's knowledge of the experiments, well, it, uh, it, uh... Yagami-san, come on. ADDC research, of course, and I have the... Take a look at this.
The victim in this case, Shintani Sensei, was inching ever closer to the truth. That's why he called the ADDC. Isn't that right, Ichinose-san? Please elaborate to the jury what exactly you mean by that. Not long before his death, Shintane-sensei was told a secret by Captain Hamura of the Matsugane family. A secret that led him right to the ADDC. It was a secret about the death of Hashki, the former vice director of the ADDC. Uh, at least I... You... Oh. Yagami-san. <clears throat> ADD, of course, and I have the... Take a look at yeah. the victim. That's... Please... Uh... Not long... This secret was about Captain Hamura's own livelihood. The truth of it was, the Matsugane family, a Tojo clan subsidiary, was killing people for money. Mm -hmm. I thought this was about the ADDC. But what you just said would be more pertinent to the Matsugane family. Wait, uh, did I... Yagami-san, come on. <clears throat> AD, of course, and I have the... Take me. That's please not long. The secret was that someone from the ADDC was connected to the serial murders taking place in Kamurocho. And so, Shintani sensei called the center and asked specifically for a researcher named Shono. The man spearheading the 89 human experiments. Enough of this nonsense! Human experimentation. Don't be ridiculous. What kind of trial is being run here? How can he say whatever he wants without a single piece of evidence? Why doesn't the prosecution stop him? Sorry. <laughs> I was enjoying hearing what he had to say. Have you lost your mind? Ichinose-san, I'm not finished with my line of questioning. Excuse me? Actually, it's more of a confirmation than a question. <sighs> Do you know who Shinpei Okubo is? Yes. He's the murderer you set free three years ago. I set him free, yes. But he's not a murderer. The one who actually killed Wakusan and Emi Terasawa was the same Shono I mentioned earlier. This garbage again? Don't act like you don't already know all of this. You're just not coming clean. Even though Okubo-kun's sitting on death row, waiting for the day they decide it's his turn. Enough! I was only asked here to explain to the jury about AD-9 and the ADDC. How dare you treat me like this? You and Shono hired the Mole to murder for you! That was the only way you'd have patience for your underground human experiments. And all to protect the interests of AD-9. You can't make these claims without proof. Show me your evidence. If you say so. What? Just the other day, someone reached out to me over in Kamurocho. They wanted to entrust me with a crucial piece of information. Hmm? Who are you? <sighs> what the... Captain Hamura? The hell are you doing here? Sorry sight, wasn't it? 
Huh? Matsugane's funeral. They had to go and use HQ's gigantic hall. Made it look like barely anyone even bothered to show up. Wish I could have gone and lit some incense. But if I did, Kuroiwa would have taken me out. Yeah? Then what are you doing here? Talk, you found Shono's lab, right? Good job. Those bastards never wanted to tell me where it was. Didn't think you could do it. Maybe. But Ichinose is covering the whole damn thing up. <laughs> Out of options, huh? I thought giving up wasn't your style. Here's the deal. I got something for you. What? Gotta settle accounts. What accounts? Never mind. But holding on to this does nothing for me. So, I want to help you out here, just this once. For the boss, give him justice. If there was any justice, I'd have gotten shot. But the boss paid the price instead. Fucked up, yeah? None of this was his fault. I already lost my chance. You, on the other hand, still may have one. Hamara. This is it. You're the boss's only shot now. Put an end to this. Once and for all. I think you'll like what you find on here. This is decisive evidence. It'll nail Ichinose. Your Honor, I offer the data I received into evidence. Take a listen to this. Did you tell someone about Shono? That lawyer, Shintani. Word has it, he just called the ADDC. Well, uh, yeah, I might have said something, but it's fine. Shintani will keep quiet if I tell him to. How can you be so naive? This is unacceptable. You must deal with this Hamura son immediately. Do what needs to be done. Have Kuroiwa-san handle the dirty details. It'll cost you another hundred mil. This mistake was yours and yours alone. Don't anger me further. This Kuroiwa-san is a Kamuro PD detective. But when he's not out on his beat, he works as the Mole, an assassin for hire. In this call, you used Hamura to order Kuroiwa to murder Shintani-sensei. Hmm. <laughs> you should have known better, Ichinose-san. I imagine you must have been pretty panicked to use such an insecure method. Audio means nothing. Forging it is a simple task. You're framing me. So, you think that's not enough? That's right. Then what if I had a material witness who could attest to its validity? I'd say, bring them. Perfect. Just a minute. Not who you expected? <clears throat> Witness, who is speaking in this recording? I'm one of them. The other is Vice Minister Ichinose here. Without a doubt. Yes. 
Order in the court. Shumida, where is the chief prosecutor? Is he aware of this farce? About that, sir. The chief prosecutor won't be joining us in court today. Or ever again. What? It turns out he's been abetting crimes for some time now. And so... We're charging him with abuse of power. Kido's up next. Right after my testimony. What? The doctor sides with whoever he thinks will win. And look at that. Guess he thinks you're on the losing side. Listen here. You pushed countless people down on your way to the top. Now it's your turn to fall, Ichinose. <clears throat> Kaito-san! Already going! What the hell was that about? Where's he going? Hoshiro-kun, it's all on you now. What? You've always wanted to handle a case on your own, right? Huh? Sorry to spring this on you, but good luck. Please, don't go! I know you can do it, Hoshino-kun. It's time you graduate from the sidekick role, you know? But... Are you ready to proceed? <laughs> the defense is ready. Your Honor. Kaito-san. Got this asshole handing out orders over the phone. <laughs> orders? What did he say? He told his boys to eliminate the mole. They'd eliminate him? Wait. They're gonna kill Kuroiwa. <laughs> Guess in the end he's just a tool for them to, you know, dispose of. But we're done for if we let that happen. Yeah. He's gotta be over in Kamarocho. Come on, Sugiro's pulling the car around now. Damn it. Almost back in the city. Any idea where Kuroiwa is? Not yet. We're having trouble getting in touch with him. Oh, and I'm not sure if this is related, but there's been a shooting in Theater Square. What? I wonder if Kuroiwa is involved somehow.
Gods, Yagami. Stop! Come on! He's over here! These guys don't seem like regular thugs. Guess these are ministry boys, huh? If they get in your way, don't hesitate to make them pay for it. Now don't stop till you get to Theater Square! I've been waiting for this. You deaf! He said stop! Gross. Anarchy. Come on, that ain't what I meant. Keep your head in the game, Kaiser son. Now let's go. <laughs> 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 you want to bet this is Karoi was doing? Yeah, he did this. Killed them before they could kill him. And where'd the bastard run off to? You can't just... Let's all just play nice, okay? Tell me, where did Kuroiwa go? <sighs> that bastard. He's on his way to the ADDC. What? <sighs> Probably 
gonna kill Shono. Revenge for getting targeted. He's gonna destroy 89 and ruin every last person who supported it. <laughs> so all the assholes are gonna take each other out, huh? Not bad. No. If Shono dies, it's done. The whole case will end up going cold. And then we'll never be able to clear Okubo's name. Huh? So let's go. Emafuyu, can you send some officers to the ADDC? Shono's in danger. Get him somewhere safe. Man, this shit's a pain in the ass. Yeah. And keep an eye out for Kuroiwa. He's getting desperate. Asshole already here? What's going on? Where's Kuroiwa? Uh, 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 please, stop! It's okay, I'm a lawyer. Is Dr. Shono out of danger? Uh, we're not really sure of the situation ourselves. Didn't somebody tell you what's going on here? We've got orders coming in from all sides. I, I, I don't even know who's in charge here! Kuroiwa! You're Yagami, aren't you? Out of my way. Not so fast. We need to check your possessions. Lift your arms up, now! And why's that, officer? To protect Dr. Shono from thugs like you! Now do it! Kuroi was the one going for Shono! You can't let him get away with this! Why won't you listen to us? Kuroi was the one you want! He's got a gun! We're done here! Kaito-san, Kuroi was heading for the research wake. We can't let him reach Shono's lab. <clears throat> now let's go! <laughs> All right. If you say so! <laughs> Corner him! Looks like we're all getting arrested today, huh? Yagami-san, I'll see you in court! <laughs> Kuroi wa Come on, Tuck. We'll deal with him later. All right. Looks like there's only one way out of this, guys. Let's go!